Hey, this is Daniel Norton. I'm here in my studio in New York City with Justin. Hello. And uh, today we're going to cover kind of a, a, a kind of a basic topic, but one I get asked about all the time. We always do different types of lighting, and we light up different scenarios. People always ask me like, kind of, what's a good classic three-point lighting for like a portrait? Um, so I thought we'd do that today. I'm just going to walk through. We'll build it out a little bit, and I'll kind of build. Now, three-point lighting can be a lot of different things. It just basically means you have three sources, which we do. Um, but I'm going to build kind of the most common for what I would use for. How Justin's dressed here, kind of uh, dressed in like a nice suit jacket, a nice kind of classic shot. So let me show you the lights here. So first I'm going to set up my background light here. This is a Profoto B2 head uh, and I've got a grid on it. So this is basically going to give us our background light. So the first light in our series is going to be the background. A lot of times when I'm setting up lights, I'll, I'll set up the, the key light first, but when you're doing this for a project, you might actually be setting up before your subject is there. So sometimes throwing up the light that you could definitely know is going to work first will work for you. So again, this is in my, uh, my C group. And I just have the controller here in my pocket, just so you guys can see. I'm going to turn the modeling light on, so you guys can probably see that. And what we're going to do is we'll adjust it up so it's going to give us a nice circle of light. Uh, I'm going to hide it behind his shoulders, and it's going to give us kind of a, a spread on this gray background. I'll go up and down depending on uh, as I get set up where I want to be, but that'll basically be where we want it to be. The second light in our scenario, again, I'm building backwards, is going to be our separation or hair light. And that one is just a one by three strip. And we've talked about this before. When you're setting up a background separation type light here, what you want to do is put it so that it's kind of feathering off on the subject, not point it directly at them. So this is a good place to start. And then finally, we're going to have our key light. And we can have Justin come in for this one so we can see where we're going to put it. This one is going to be a, a two foot by three foot softbox, kind of classic portrait type of thing. And we're going to go kind of to a three quarter, 45 degree here. So it's going to throw some shadow on his face, but in you know, an attractive way. So we can see, right, not a bad manly. shadow, a manly way. Right. We want to show shadow. You know, a lot of times I'll say that when we're shooting a female subject, I almost always put the light in the center to have the shadows coming down. For a guy, you know, it's nice to have a little shadow. This will also work for a female subject as well, but it wouldn't necessarily be my first choice. Okay, so now those lights are in place. Um, I'm going to grab my camera. I have my 85, which is a nice kind of focal length for a portrait. And I'm not getting, I'm going to go like head and shoulders a little bit more, not the head and shoulders for like the shampoo, but <laughs> I mean, maybe. Um, and the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn all my lights off as always. And we're gonna make a shot with no light, no uh, flashlight, I should say. 250th, F8, 100 ISO. That gets rid of all the light in the space. So we know we're only working with our flash. And what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna set them up one at a time, just so you guys can see. So I'm gonna turn off, just gonna bring in the A group which is again, our key light. I'm gonna focus on the eyes. Here we go. Set my focus point. See, that gives us a nice dramatic portrait. But of course, he's nice and lit there. The background goes very dark. You know, there's enough light wrapping around that we probably even get away with this if you want. Then super dramatic, but we wanna go classic. Plus, that would only be one point. One point at this point. This is now my separation light as well. That gives us that three-dimensionality right there. And we can see that we're definitely getting some spread. So the background's getting a little bit lighter gray. But to give us that full separation, we're going to add our sea light. By the way, I'm in TTL right now, guys, and everything seems to be good. Um, of course, that's the way you drink TTLs, by saying that it looks good. There we go. All right. Now I'm going to tweak. So what I like to do, since we want to keep things consistent, is I'm going to switch off TTL and I'm going to just adjust my lights. I'm gonna bring my C light down, which is my background light, down by half a stop, I think. I think it's a bit too bright. There we go. Nice and classic. I'm just gonna kinda of look at this. Yeah, I have detail on the highlights. My neutral looks good. We have separation. Yeah, this looks pretty nice. So we'll shoot a few like this. I do like to be on a tripod just to keep this stuff set and just work through a little bit at a time, shooting some classic shots. Cool. All right, so that works. That's really easy, right? We knew it'd be easy. So a variation on this if you want. Um, if you didn't need your background to be lit up, for instance, we could add a fill light instead. So we could move, you know, let's say this light to the fill. 
Because I only have these modifiers though, I'm not gonna fill with a small hard light. That wouldn't make any sense to me. So if I wanna do that kind of a scenario, I'm actually gonna switch this guy to my separation light and move the strip up here for a fill. So you want your fill light to be generally on your camera axis. You, know, you don't want it to create its own set of shadows. So we'll just put that there. And then I'll move this guy over here for my separation. We'll see what that looks like. The grid's kind of tight here. So I'm gonna turn on my modeling light so I can aim it. See that, not too bad, right? Not too shabby. Okay, this guy is gonna come from the front in my fill. So probably, well, you know what? TTL's been good to us. Let's just see what happens. We'll throw TTL on. This is where it becomes a mess. Now, pretty darn good. So now we've got, again, a darker background, but now we have more fill on this side. So that's gonna be a little bit more flattering. And again, we're still three-point light. I feel like that background light's a smidge hot, my C light. So I'm in this scenario, so I'm just gonna turn it down. I'm gonna turn down one full stop. Actually, I'm gonna switch out to TTL, turn the C light down one full stop. And there we go, also looks good. So let's shoot a few like this. So again, still three-point lighting, just different variety. So there is, in fact, a single hair oh, yeah. right here, yeah. which I actually really like, but later you might hate that. So yeah. let's just <laughs> fix it's that for a couple. Not to hang <laughs> right, exactly. Yeah, I actually like it, but I'm like, hmm, I don't know, maybe not, right? So, all right, so there we go. Yeah, F8 gives me plenty of room to move. Again, I'm on a tripod, consistency, and easy as that, right? Get a couple like that, boom. Simple as that. Now we've got two options here. Yeah, these are nice. Let's see, we got that. And then we've got the more classic with the background lit. Both work, both are nice, um, you know, and they're both three-point lighting. So you could have almost any kind of variety of things with this, right? It just means you're using three points. There could be this, we could have done, you know, I mean, obviously you're always gonna want a key light, but you could do two separation lights, you could light the background completely different. Three points means that you're gonna have three points of light hitting your subject. One of them could even be a reflector, technically, if you wanted to consider that, so you can do it with two lights. Um, but this is a good classic way to light. You can, again, if, it's, if you're trying to get a more flattering uh, type of light, you might want to go with fill, uh, fill and key. If you want something more dramatic, go with the, uh, you know, let the, the key be your only light on the face and let it kind of drop off, which I kind of like for male subjects. But I will put uh, Justin's information in the description. You guys can follow him. Be sure to subscribe. Uh, <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Be sure to subscribe to Adorama TV and follow me, Daniel Norton Photographer, and I'll see you next time on set.